So I was originally asking around 23 bucks and with 30% off I got it sold for What's up y'all, it's Jeffrey back here at Flippin' Profit. It's another Monday, not any ordinary Monday, but we do have some orders to pull, so let's get to it. First thing we're gonna grab are these shoes right here. These are some Nike Air Zoom Fit 2 for women, size eight running shoes. Very nice condition. Had them listed for a little more than 20 bucks, but ended up taking a best offer of $18 with free shipping. So the Nike shoes actually weigh less than a pound, so I put them in this uh, poly mailer. And I know some people might frown upon this, but I mean, I found that uh, shoes are very durable. You don't always have to put them in a box. I know I'm taking a risk that something could happen to this. You know, if the package gets damaged or ripped open, something might happen. But I'm the one taking the risk, and uh, so far, so good. So the package weighs 14 ounces, and I'm going to be shipping it to Arizona first class for $5.40. Then we sold these Twisted X boots. These are some women's brown leather uh, slip-on mules or clogs, whichever one you want to call it, made by Twisted X Boots. Very nice condition. And same thing, had them listed for a little over 20 bucks, but took a best offer of $18 with free shipping. I got these Twisted X Boots uh, mules and stuffed them in this padded flat rate envelope. They do weigh over a pound, but they fit good in this padded flat rate envelope. So I'm going to ship them to New Jersey for $7.52. Alright, now we're downstairs. Got a few clothing items to pull. Here is a Hollister shirt that I sold. Men's size XL, Henley long sleeve, uh, striped shirt. It's been sitting on the shelves a long time. I mean, this is like a really old purchase, probably like a year old or something like that. And finally got it sold for $9 with free shipping. So that's why I went ahead and let it go for so cheap. This was, a, I think I paid no more than like 50 cents for this and just was a little experiment. Back in the day, I, there was this thrift store I was getting clothes so cheap for that um, I went ahead and tried a bunch of different kind of things to uh, see what would sell. I took that uh, Hollister shirt and got it stuffed in this poly mailer. It weighs 12 ounces and we're going to ship it first class all the way to Indiana for $4 dollars and eight cents next one a 13 17 and this was also a very old purchase didn't pay no more than maybe 50 cents for this and finally got it sold for eight dollars with free shipping i got the american eagle shirt folded up in this um poly mailer it weighs six ounces and we're going to ship it first class to new mexico for three dollars and 31 cents next one we got are these women's levi's jeans these 515 jeans nice boot cut medium wash jeans had them listed for twenty seventy seven and got them sold for full asking price twenty dollars and seventy seven cents with free shipping here are those levi's jeans got them stuffed in this uh... flat rate envelope that's going to be shipping to rhode island for six dollars and ninety four cents went ahead and pulled that tub down not much left in this one but i sold this puzzle so i started a little sale over the weekend gonna run it for a week or two um and it's a sale that's up to 30 percent off and this puzzle has been on the shelves for a while so i was originally asking around 23 bucks and with 30 percent off i got it sold for 15 dollars and 94 cents with free shipping i got the Marilyn monroe puzzle and uh bubble wrapped it up very good and then stuffed it inside this poly mailer so we're gonna ship it priority mail all the way to georgia for seven dollars and 88 cents i think we got two things in this tub no maybe just one sold this xbox 360 connect sensor bar picked this up not too long ago i can't really remember if i got it at the thrift store or a yard sale but i think i paid around four or five bucks for it and got it sold for 19 dollars with free shipping I was able to take that Xbox 360 Connect, bubble wrap it very well, and it fit perfectly inside this uh, flat rate envelope. So we're going to ship it to Texas for $6.94. Next thing we sold was the wireless headphone transmitter. If you didn't see, I picked this up at a church sale, this and the wireless headphones that go with it, but it did not have the power adapter. Luckily, my dad had a power adapter that fits this. I went and tested it out and it worked great. So instead of ordering a power adapter that would have cost about eight or nine bucks, I went ahead and just sold both of the items separately, sold the headphones for 25 bucks, and I sold this for $14 with free shipping. I paid $3 for both of them, so that's about $1.50 a piece and made plenty of profit on it. I took the Sony transmitter and bubble wrapped it up and then it fit perfectly inside this shoe box. I just had to uh, size it down a little bit. It weighs one pound and six ounces so we're going to ship it priority mail all the way to Tennessee for $7.88. And next thing I sold are these two things. 
This is Sonic Well, I believe. Sonic Wall, that's how you say it. These are two security appliance firewall routers. Got these at the recycling event a few months ago and had them listed uh, one for about 30 bucks and I had the quantity at two and somebody sent me an offer for 15 bucks a piece. So that'd be 30 bucks for both of them and they've been sitting there a while. So I went ahead and took it. I took those Sonic Wall routers, um, individually bubble wrapped them very good, and then they actually both fit in this regional rate box A, which is going to be our cheapest shipping option. We're shipping it all the way to Utah for $10.11. There is something else in this tub that we sold. This guy right here. This uh, 1971 Stitzel Weller, um, old Fitzgerald genuine decanter um i believe it actually hold held a liquid inside it at once half of the cork has broken off a little bit inside there i did note that in the description so whoever bought it knows that but yeah it's a really cool like porcelain dude old fitzgerald i guess by uh stitzel weller from 1971 had it on a 10% off sale and got it sold for $38.49 with free shipping i was able to get that decanter and uh, bubble wrapped it up with small bubbles very good and then i also was able to put a layer of big bubbles around it and it also fit pretty good inside this shoe box just had to uh, knock about an inch off the top here and it weighs two pounds and four ounces so we're going to ship it priority mail to georgia for eight dollars and 33 cents i almost forgot about this jacket picked this up at the thrift store for i think around like 18 bucks i actually paid too much for this this was a bad buy i thought i would be able to get around 50 bucks for it but I remember I think I first put it up um, on auction for I think 25 bucks with uh, free shipping. Maybe it had plus shipping, but nobody ever took a bite on it. So I ended up taking it off auction and put it on buy it now for around 35 bucks. And like I said, been running a sale. It was on a 10% off sale and it sold for $31.29 with free shipping. So I mean, maybe if shipping's not too much, we still make a few bucks on it. But um, And considering everything else that I bought at that thrift store, I definitely you know have paid for it already through other uh sales that i've had from that thrift store but um yeah definitely thought that i was going to get more for that so somehow i got that jacket to fit inside this regional rate a box well it doesn't really fit this corner down here kind of uh, collapsed on me but either way it's in there and this is actually going to be an international shipment through the uh, global shipment program it's going over to china somewhere but for me to ship it to the kentucky uh headquarters is only going to cost me eight dollars and 65 cents so i mentioned that i was running a sale and it's a up to 30 percent off sale but i got this idea from lonnie over at uh, garage flips and uh, shed flips he's actually got two channels if you don't know lonnie definitely go check his channel out he's got an uh, awesome content and he's an amazing guy and uh, he's also from Louisiana as well so but he put out a video recently um, showing that he's gonna run a sale on his uh, eBay store and the way he did it is rather than just doing one sale where it's like 10% off he added another percentage off 20% off and then another percentage off I think that's how he, that's how I ran my sale anyways and I think that's how he did his exactly but either way I set it up to where I'm gonna have items that are 10% off items that are 20% off and then items that are 30% off. And then I, when I was choosing the items to put in the 10% off uh, sale, I filtered it by um, items that were only like $15 and up and then items that have only been on the site, uh, which means live, you know, active in my store for at least 15 days and up to 30 days. And then I picked through those, which ones I wanted to put on sale and only had so many. And then for the 20% off, I did same thing with the price, $15 and up, just like Lonnie did. And then I chose the days to be 31 days up to 60 days. And then 30% off, I did same thing with the price, but chose the items from 61 days on up. That way, the items that have been on your store the longest actually have a higher percentage off on them because, you know, I'm trying to get rid of those items. So basically, that's what it is. Um, go check out. I'll leave a link to the video that Lonnie made, uh, and he shows the actual page and stuff and explains this better. I'll probably end up making a video on this strategy as well in the future, but in the meantime, definitely go check out Lonnie's strategy. It was his idea in the first place anyways. Or I mean, it's on eBay, but I didn't realize you could do it like that until I saw his video. So definitely go check that video out. And so far for me, it's been working pretty good. Over the weekend, we had some pretty decent sales and um, a lot of those came from the uh, percentage off sales, but um, I'm gonna let it go for another week or two and see how that does. Uh, definitely in times like this, could definitely use some sales. I know people could use a little bit of discounted stuff. So 
I'm not mad at getting rid of some of this old stuff. Yeah, like I said, go check out Lonnie's stuff. Everyone's got a lot of time on their hands right now, so it's a good time to uh, explore new resellers on YouTube and stuff like that. Because even myself, I still learn from others, and that's the only way you're going to really get better and better is by learning from the best, you know, and Lonnie's one of the best. So uh, just wanted to share that with you guys. Make sure you hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video today. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. We're almost to 2,000 subscribers, and once we hit 2,000, I'll be doing an eBay gift card giveaway as well as a sock drawer reveal. So make sure you subscribe, and if you're new to my channel and you want more tips on how to sell on eBay, then check out some of my playlists. I've got certain playlists like Trip to the Thrift videos, what sells on eBay, and stuff like that, so definitely check those out. Thanks to each and every one of you for watching my videos and until I see y'all next time, keep flipping.